this is the Provoke Prawn, and if you've got a problem with Lee and Lee's L Connect software and your RGB fans from Lee and Lee not working properly and the RGB stuck on a single color and won't change, if that's the case, then stick with me because I'm going to show you how to fix it with a number of different tips on what to do to adjust the software and also to make sure that your hardware is all connected up properly and more. If you found that you've installed everything and you think it should be working, but you end up with just being stuck on the rainbow effect on all of your fans, and this should be the solution for you. Now, this applies to all the different fan types, the AL120s, the SL120s, the SL120 Infinities, and you'll see a few different variants of the different clips here. And I'm going to link in the description down below to a number of other videos I've done on the setup process for these fans, in particular how to wire and connect them up, because that's obviously an important part of it, making sure the hardware is connected properly. And I've done an in-depth guide that you can see a sample of here, essentially with connecting up the control box and making sure it's connected to your properly to your motherboard. So that includes the USB connection, which is really important to connect up the control box to your motherboard via USB. Otherwise, you won't be able to control the fans via L Connect. So it's worth keeping that in mind. At a basic level, you need to have that control box connected via USB and then also connected to SATA power in your PSU. Now, once all that's done, if you've got L Connect 3, which is the latest version at the time I'm making this video, go into the settings and check for updates. You can see that you have a check button under all of these and obviously you can click to make sure that it has the latest version of the software and the other things. Now obviously I could also recommend uninstalling and reinstalling it which would be the classic turn it off and on again thing that IT people would recommend but actually there's another thing that you can do which will help with this. So if you're finding that if you go into whatever fans you've got and you can't seem to apply any of the color settings and this is the solution head over to this website that I'll link to in the description and you'll see there's a guide to manually updating the firmware. This is a firmware update tool, which essentially applies an update to the control box directly. If it's not working via L Connect 3, this will be the solution for you. So you download this tool, and this again applies to all the different fans. As you can see from the description here, it works with Infinity fans, AL120 fans, uh, SL120s, and the 140 mils as well. So download this file, and once you've got it downloaded, you'll need to extract it. So extract it to a relevant place that you can find and access, and then hop in there and run the tool. So you'll see there's a list of different fans in here with different folders. And then there's an update tool. And what you'll see is that you need to run that tool and then scan device. So what this is doing is scanning the controller and working out what's going on there. And then you can basically apply the latest firmware to it. Now, in my example shot here, I'm using SL120 V2s, which actually don't have any more firmware at the moment. But if you're using older fans, essentially what you need to do is to check your current version number against what's included in the folder. Browse to the relevant folder, so look for the fans that you want to use. Let's say SL140s, for example. Grab this file, so click on that and open it, and then run the tool to apply that firmware fix. Once that's done and it's applied to it, you should then find that you can then run L Connect, and what should happen is it will quite easily then work with the RGB lighting, and you'll be able to then control things. Obviously, as you can see, this also applies to the streamers, so the RGB cables as well, so it'll work with a number of different things. It's not unfortunately included in L Connect 3, so this is a separate download, but I'll leave the links to both in the description so you can check those out. Another thing to watch out for is the motherboard lighting sync. So in the top left of L Connect 3, with the quick sync lighting settings, you can switch on and off the motherboard lighting syncing. So if you have MSI motherboard with Mystic Light, for example, or Azus Armory crate with the Aurora Sync, you could obviously sync up the RGB lighting there. It could be that that's turned on and that is therefore stopping L Connect from controlling the lighting because it could be just the motherboards controlling it instead. So watch for that button. Or maybe you want to turn that on and then give your motherboard control of it. Hopefully this fix has been useful. Check out the links in the description to find out more. And I'd highly recommend watching my other video on how to set up these fans and to wire them properly if you haven't already. And if you're worried about the hardware wiring of it. If you found it useful, please hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment as it really helps support the channel. Thanks for watching. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel.
and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.